as you can see guys there's the seat right there i have a big problem i'm about to show it to you so we have some coolant leaks right here uh it's leaking from down there and there was this plastic piece here that went all the way here and then i noticed in the, in the back it was damp and then i tasted it it was sweet so it was coolant so literally coolant is leaking out of the heater core uh it's really upsetting uh but i had to take it out i had to make sure that there's nothing you know i had to dry it up to prevent any rust or corrosion but uh, as soon as i lifted it there was every, you can't see right now but everything is actually dry in there but as you can see i still had to remove a bunch of stuff all right uh the uh, you know the seat belt and all the other stuff so um anyways uh, i'm gonna clean it up a little more and uh i'll start putting it all back together um but before doing that i actually need to make it dry so i'm gonna let it sit for a little bit maybe like 24 hours uh you know and let it dry okay i was actually cleaning it uh all you know uh, I was using a cleaner. I was actually scrubbing this thing uh, not too long ago But the main thing is I wanted to make sure that no water actually leaked past through the uh, Carpet and it didn't soak the floors. So that's a really good sign um, Yeah, and uh, well, it is what it is, you know uh, So I'll have to work on my heater core or I'll, um, as of right now, I'm probably gonna just bypass it um, Yeah, but just want to make sure that there's no water we're cool not leaking anywhere here and right now we're good and I checked that side that side isn't leaking at all so that's good news all right guys I'm about to show you the current uh, situation of the interior and how it looks and after that we're gonna jump right into bypassing this heater core I'll show you how I'm doing it you know I don't know how it's gonna turn out it might be a little ghetto but it, remember that this is a temporary fix this is what you want to do uh, to make sure that no no more coolant leaks inside of interior so that's really important and i don't know when but eventually i will get into replacing the heater core itself uh it's a pretty big job on this particular car uh, you have to take the dashboard out in order to get to it so uh, it's a lot of work so as of right now i don't have time for that that's why i'm gonna be just bypassing it uh for now and then when I get a chance, I'll definitely replace that heater core. So it's been like 24 hours and, you know, I just left the seat like this so it can dry a little more. Uh, and, you know, it's it's getting there. It's still a little wet in there, but uh, it's going to get dry uh, pretty soon. Um, so I'll start putting this back today. Um, and then... I'm gonna get ready for my uh, heater core bypass job um, and yeah hopefully that's all gonna be good and uh, I'll just keep you updated I'll let you know how uh, I did everything all right guys so we're under the hood I positioned the hood at 90 degrees now I'm gonna go ahead and start removing this wiper cowl all right there's just a couple seals that you have to remove carefully See, one seal comes out and then there's eight millimeter uh, screw they have to remove. I believe it's eight or ten. And then the same thing on the other side. And then literally uh, and on the other side and this thing will just come out and it will expose these uh, heater hoses that you need to worry about. You're also going to need to remove the seal. It goes all the way uh, from one end to the other and then you can pull this guy off and put it aside Okay, so after this as you can see there's one hose heater hose and then The other one is on the other side. So I need to figure out how to uh, Get this thing done. I'll have to undo the clamps and I'll have to figure out how I can um, You know connect this end with the other end to bypass the heater core all right guys let me show you what i did here um so as you can see i removed the plastic uh, wiper cowl but then um you know i just kind of uh made a bypass uh you know so the coolant doesn't go to the heater core 
Uh, so as you can see, the coolant is going to be traveling through this pipe right here. Instead of going to the heater core, it's going to actually make his way around uh, and back out through that hose back into the engine. Um, so I'm really happy because uh, right now, I mean, obviously I'm going to start it up and make sure there's no leaks or anything like that. And also, as you can see, I put some piece of foam right there and a rag right there and like i said this is just a temporary fix uh for right now so i can drive around uh, and not worry about the coolant leaking inside of the engine uh inside of the interior so um and mainly why i put the a foam piece in there just so uh you know parts are not rubbing against each other and all that stuff and you also want to make sure that um the hoses or pipes whatever you're using for the bypass that everything is pretty firm and not flopping or moving around all right and all that so i'm about to start this engine up and we're gonna make sure that there we don't have any coolant leaks and before we start it up you always make sure that you uh, don't leave anything in the engine compartment okay um as of in my case i just have these two here which is fine they're not going anywhere but make sure there's no no tools or anything like that around. So far so good, no issues, no leaks, everything is amazing. Okay, so right now the last thing that I want to make sure is that the wiper doesn't touch anything once it's activated. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the wiper right now and we're going to make sure that everything is good. It's a good idea to actually clean your wiper first before you activate it and put some water on here what I did there's some water on the windshield now so let's try to activate this thing done putting the seat back together just gotta bolt up those couple of uh, bolts and uh, you know we installed a couple of plastic pieces here and there and uh, we'll be done with this job to remove these you'll need a plastic tool and you'll go in there and carefully you will carefully pry it out why you need a plastic tool so it's not gonna scratch anything okay just carefully work it out just like that Ooh. there's some garbage in there now after we remove these covers we're gonna fluid film inside of them to protect all this area to make sure it's gonna be all good for a long time but keep in mind that I will be uh, removing these side skirts eventually pretty soon but as of right now just want to do this uh, 
protective measure uh, measure against corrosion so I'm just literally spraying everything inside as much as I can good stuff guys all right now I'm gonna move on to the next one and I'll do the same everything like that so it stays nicely protected 